what's up guys um in this video i'm going to be showing y'all all of my um body lotions that i have from bath and body works um so yeah this is my entire body lotion um bath and <laughs> this is my entire bath and body works body lotion collection um i don't really have that much that's why i'm doing this video and i really don't plan on buying any more actually i feel like i'm missing some one second sorry um <laughs> i was looking for this i literally just did a video on this and i lost it but it was in the box that um it came in but yeah i'm going to show you guys my entire body lotion collection um some of these are actually uh my sisters or some that i um my sister gave to me and my sister um that was probably kind of confusing wasn't it um anyways <laughs> these are all the body lotions that are in my house okay my house collection anyways um i'm gonna start with like the ones that are empty don't ask why i keep <laughs> the empty containers okay it's like collection purposes only and like yeah, and some of these, well, one cent I haven't seen in a while. Actually, two of them. Um, so, yeah, that's why I actually kept the containers. But, yeah, let's get started. Um, the empty ones. Okay, the first one I have here is Lush Pink Dragon Fruit. This one has been empty for, like, years now. Um. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Um. The notes. Okay. Uh, pink dragon fruit, water, wild water lilies, pomegranate, caperna, jungle plum, and passion fruit nectar. Y'all, this was like, this is my favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. Well, it was. This one came out 2016 or 15. Yeah, I think 2015. This one was so good. It's like so juicy. And another reason why I keep the containers because they still kind of smell like it, so... This is so like juicy and fruity. Oh my gosh. This is like my favorite summer scent. Right. This is like the theme scent of summer 2015 when I graduated high school, y'all. Um, this is exactly what this reminds me of. Um, yes, they need to bring this back. Bath and Body Works, please bring this back. Please. Um Okay, the next one is another favorite. If you guys um, watch my videos, you know that I love this scent so much. Is the Fiji Pineapple Palm. Sorry, it looks like there's something in my eye. It's not. It's because my glasses are scratched. I need new glasses. <sighs> pineapple. Sweet pineapple. Juicy, sweet pineapple. This one smells so good. Another scent that is like perfect for summertime that Bath & Body Works need to bring back soon. Um... The new coconut pineapple is kind of similar, but this one doesn't have a coconut note. It's just pineapple and... Okay, let me read the notes, actually. Island pineapple, mango nectar, palm leaf, toasted sugar cane, and white musk. I don't really get a muskiness, just like juicy, sweet pineapple and like that mango nectar. You can kind of smell that, too. It's so good, y'all. Bring that back, Bath & Body Works. Okay, the next one I have here is French lavender and honey. Y'all know how I feel about this scent, too. <sighs> this brings back so many memories. Um, the scent notes are... Um, oh, French Lavender, Lily of the Valley, and Nectarine de Provence. Warmed with sun-kissed honey and white oak musk. Now, y'all know I don't really mess with the uh, floral scents, but this one is like different <laughs> this one is different okay so you can get that floral note but the honey like mixed with the honey it's like so like sweet and like and it's kind of like powdery but i like it a lot this one is really sweet i think even if you don't like floral scents you would probably really like this one um i don't know why i still have this container because i do have this in the body cream so i mean i still have a little bit in there we can't waste now right when did i get this 2018 sounds about right um let's see what else okay i have the pretty as a peach body lotion um this one smells pretty good i didn't really mess with the um fragrance 
is moving i didn't really mess with the fragrance mist but i, I like this and the body cream the body cream is good too um the notes are blushing peach jasmine petals white nectarine apple blossom and sheer freesia it smells pretty good i like this one it reminds me of summertime too got this one in 2016 um the next one I'm going to show you guys is, um, I'm just going to show you the ones that I got from my older sister, my oldest, oldest sister. Um, so, um, these ones are the ones that my oldest sister gave to me and my other older sister. <laughs> um, watermelon lemonade and this packaging, this is from 2016. It's kind of old and crusty, but it smells pretty good. I like this. Um. The notes are fresh watermelon juice mixed with frozen lemon sprinkled with sponge sugar. This one smells pretty good too. It reminds me of like like something I would have wore as like a kid. Summertime. It smells so good. Um, the next one I'm not really a huge fan of. It's the Central Amber. Um, notes are golden amber, wild berries. Wild berries? Wild berries? I don't remember that. Orange flower, lotus petals, creamy sandalwood. It's like, you know like how I said the um, French lavender and honey is like, um, like a powdery floral, like sweet. This is powdery floral, but it's like, it's like warm kind of, and I, I don't know, it's kind of, kind of making me sick a little bit, but maybe it's the sandalwood. I don't know where the wild berries are. I don't smell that at all. This is not my favorite, but it's, uh, it's okay. I don't wear this one. My other sister wear this one. Um, not a huge fan. Um, okay, the next one is one that I actually gave. No, sorry, I almost forgot one more. The uh, Cucumber Lemon is from my older sister. Um, this one is from 2017 packaging. Are these still good, y'all? It just smells like Cucumber Lemon. Y'all know uh, <laughs> Cucumber Lemon cucumber melon that would probably smell good though cucumber and lemon probably like a salad or something um the notes are crisp crisp cucumber watery honeydew summer summer cantaloupe sparkling grapefruit and sheer woods it smells really nice i feel like everyone has needs to have this in their collection yeah good for like spring and summertime Okay, now this one, this is one that I actually gave to my sister. Um, no. <laughs> this one I gave to my sister. Okay, is the Midnight Pomegranate. Um, notes are Ruby Red Pomegranate Sparkling Cassie. Cassie. This word. We know this word. Um, white jasmine, blackberry spice, and patchouli. I really like this one. This reminds me of, like, when I was a kid, too. Because my sister, the one that I actually gave this to, she had the soap, and she would always, I would always smell that, like, around the house. It smells so good, y'all. This is good for, like, um, winter, fall, winter time, I think. Yeah. But you can wear it all year round. It just brings me back to like some really good memories, y'all. My childhood was pretty good. Um, now this one, I share this one with my sister because I wasn't a huge fan at first. So I was like, yeah, you can use this one too. I mean, I let her use any of the ones that I buy, but I put this in like a section where it's easier for her to like just go and get it if she wants to use it. Um, but this is the Pearberry. Uh, scent notes are that weird... Anjo, Anju, this word, pear, wild berries, apple blossom, golden freesia, and gold woods. But now, like, when I smell it more, I, I, I'm starting to get used to it. Like, I can definitely smell that pear. But I don't really smell, what was that? Smell. <laughs> I don't really smell the wild berries part. But it's okay. I like it now. 
I kind of want to get the fragrance mist. I don't know. We'll see. Um, now, <laughs> uh, Vanilla B. Noel in the 2017 packaging. I have two of them. If y'all didn't hear the story already, is um, I'm going to say it very quickly. Um, the story is, <laughs> I had one. I don't know which one it was. I had one, and I used to go to work with it, and I lost it. So I bought another one, and then later I found my first one, so now I have two. Yeah, that's how that went. <laughs> um, but the notes are um, fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. Now this one, this is like my favorite. Mmm. You can definitely get that caramel more. And like the sugar cookie. Ooh, it smells so good. It's even like turning with a caramely color. Because of how caramel it is. <laughs> it's like, no, it's getting old, I think. Because the color wasn't always like this. But I think maybe it's still fine. Y'all let me know. This. I mean, let me see. If it's not separating. I think it's still good. Let me know. <laughs> Do they smell different now? No. I can't even smell this one because this one got like crusties inside. It's all the same. Um, but yeah, this is a this is definitely a favorite. Um, I have the mist for this and the newer 2020 mist. Love this. Um Next, I'm going to show you Wrapped in Sugar in this packaging. This was 2016. Um, scent notes are Coconut Martini, Marshmallow Musk, Soft Amber, and Warm Woods. Definitely smell like that coconut. So good. I really like this one. This reminds me of when I first started working at my first job. Brings back memories of that. It smells so good. Um, so yeah, that's wrapped in sugar. Um, the next one I'm going to show you guys is At the Beach. Another coconut scent. Um, scent notes are white frangipani blossoms. Why did my screen just get dark? Hello? Anyways. Um, white, frang white frangipani blossoms, toasted coconut, bergamot waters, Sea salt breeze and sun kissed musk. Um, I get that coconut and like, like coconut and floral, but it smells really good, y'all. Even though I don't really mess with florals, it smells really good. At the beach, I have that in the fragrance mist too. A lot of these, I have them too in the fragrance mist as like a matchy matchy type of situation. Um, the next one I'm going to show you guys is this, <laughs> um, the Aromatherapy Energy, um, orange and ginger, and the body lotion, I don't know why I just said body lotion, this whole video is about body lotion, it smells so good, orangey and gingery, exactly what it is, the notes are orange and ginger, um, I really want to try more of the Aromatherapy, I really like this bottle too. Probably another bottle I'm going to end up keeping after this is gone. <laughs> Let me know. Does, do y'all keep y'all uh, bottles and like packaging sometimes for collective purposes? Not for hoarding. I'm not a hoarder. But for collective purposes. Because I do. Sorry. Not sorry. But um, okay. The next one I'm going to show you guys is the pink watermelon. Look how that. I like how the. Uh, gold is like um coming off and you know creating some more dimension just kidding i don't know what the heck that was um but yeah the 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 gold is like coming off that happens a lot with some of these um packagings um but the scent notes are juicy watermelon pink petals and dewy aloe i really like this one but to be honest it smells more like like um watered down watermelon like the watermelon rind and like you can definitely smell the aloe too it's not very sweet 
I mean, it doesn't have any sugar notes, but I was thinking it was going to be sweeter and like juicier. It does remind me of summertime though. I actually do like this one. Um, and from that same collection, I have the Raspberry Tangerine on this one. The gold is not rubbing off a little bit, but this one is fine. Um, scent notes are Wild Raspberries, Fresh Tangerine, and Lemon Zest. Definitely love this one a lot more. Very juicy raspberry. Kind of reminds me of, like, gummy um, raspberry candies. Ah, so good. I want to get the new... Um, fragrance mist because I want to see if it smells the same it probably does but um I really mi I missed out on the fragrance mist from last year from 2020 but I wanted to match the packaging I don't want to just get the new one I probably will get the new one I don't know hopefully there's a um fragrance mist sale coming up hopefully I'm not saying there is I'm just saying hopefully there is they have to right because <laughs> <laughs> anyways um now this one chocolate covered cherry i just got this one did a review on that make sure you guys go check it out um fragrance notes rich milk chocolate red raspberries i mean <laughs> red cherries sweet liquor okay now this smells like cherries and chocolate it smells really nice though but I like it straight out of the packaging now when it dries down I feel like it's a different story hold on I'm doing this and I already done did a already done did a review on this one yeah like the dry down for me is kind of weird but straight out of the package it smells really good like chocolate covered cherries I like this one. Um, now this one, Coconut Lime Breeze. I just did a review on this. Go check that out. This was my video before this video. Um, notes are. They be putting these the notes in like the description. It's kind of hard to see. But this is um from their signature collection. So okay. Notes. Uh, Blend of sheer coconut water, white orange blossom, and zesty lime infused with jasmine petals and island musk. Definitely getting that lime. It's so good, y'all. I'm really enjoying this one. I have to get the new um, coconut lime, too. Um, okay, so this next product I'm going to show y'all is actually a body butter. But this is the only body butter that I have. Um, the Frosted Coconut Snowball. So I just decided, let me just put this in this video. Ah, it smells so good. It smells so good. Okay, the notes are fro frosted. <laughs> Frosted Coconut, North Pole Vanilla, Winter Freesia, Snow Kissed Woods, and Spun Sugar. Ah, smells so good. I feel like I want to wear this now. And like the consistency so like thick and like moisturizing i love their body butters but this is the only one that i have so how can i love all of them but if they all have the same like consistency i love all of them <sighs> should i just get some of my glasses <sighs> this smells so good <laughs> anyways yeah that's frosted coconut snowball um, got this one last year. Um, okay. You guys, I forgot something. I have it in here because this is my little travel stuff is in here. Um, I have this. The strawberry pound cake and the, um, mini, the travel size body lotion. <sighs> it smells so good. Sorry, I'm all up in your face. All up in your grill. So, no. Um, but the notes are not on here. Let me see if I can guess the notes. It's like golden shortcake, whipped, no, fresh strawberries, and whipped cream, I think. Something like that. If it's not it, or if it is it, I'm just going to put it here anyway. But, um, 
Yeah, they don't have the notes on the back. I completely forgot about that. But yeah, I have it in the mini three ounce. Um, I also have, this is not about this, but I have my, my um, champagne toast in this bag too. Yeah, that's the only thing, the only body stuff I keep in that bag. Okay, you guys, so these next two products, the last two I'm going to show you guys are scrubs. Um, the only scrubs that I actually have from Bath & Body Works, y'all have never seen these on my channel until now. Um, but yeah, I have, <laughs> I just found these, maybe like, was it sometime last year? I don't know why I didn't make a video about it, but they're all crusty and stuff now. Um, but I have the Fiji Pineapple Palm Sand and Sea Salt Scrub and the Celestial Scrub. Um, the notes for this is just, uh the same as the Fiji pineapple palm, island pineapple, mango nectar, palm leaf, toasted sugar cane, and white musk. Um, I'm pretty sure, okay, yeah, it says Polynesian sand and real sea salt gently exfoliates while nourishing coconut oil, softens, and conditions skin. Now, this is probably really old, yeah, I think from 2000... Hello. No idea, but it's dry and all I can hear is like the sand. Oh golly. All I hear is the sand in here. Y'all probably like just throw it out. I probably shouldn't have smelled it, but that smells like chemicals. Um so the celestial scrub um, the notes are vanilla, jasmine, vanilla, jasmine, and musk. Um, Y'all don't know this, but my phone just cut off, and I thought it didn't save my... Why am I moving, like... Do y'all see that? Or is that just... <laughs> my phone cut off. Oh. <laughs> right, like, I have this blue light on my phone, and it just turned to, like, brown... I don't know, but, um, y'all probably like, what is wrong with you? Okay, so, it was a cut in the video, and this is why. My phone cut off, I didn't know, I, my battery was running low. If you heard in a piece of my video, it was, I was like, why did my screen just get dying? It's because my battery was dying, I didn't notice, because my phone does that anyway. And I'm kind of like, what the heck? It feels, my phone seems like it's, like, lagging. Um, but anyways... My phone's light goes down by itself sometimes, even when the battery is not dying. But this time, it was a real warning sign that my phone was dying. So my phone died, and I was like, is this going to save? Is my other footage going to save? And it did, thank God. <sighs> thank the Lord. Because I was like, I'm, I'm going to have to do this whole video over. But at the same time, I was praying. <laughs> so... My phone just did it again. That's why I'm in this, my old, um, setup. Um, but the last thing I was trying to talk to you guys about was this Celestial, Celestial Scrub. It's the Cosmic Candy, okay? Um, I'm trying to hurry up so my phone doesn't shut off again. That is hilarious. Okay, so the notes are Vanilla, Jasmine, and Musk. And I, the last thing I was saying was that it was pretty because sparkly. Yo, my phone is like... <laughs> Do y'all see that? It's like lagging. I'm lagging. Anyway, but yeah, this was the last product I was going to show you guys. Um, this one still smells pretty good. Unlike the other scrub, the, uh, feeble palm. But anyways, you guys, before my phone decides it wants to act up or, like, cut off or, or something, um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, all that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.